He is singing like a canary and asking for forgiveness, just like Namde Kano, Loretta Onochi. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. A few days ago, the Imo State Police Command announced the arrest of Anosi Kichimobi, one of the suspected killers of Ahmad Gulak, the political advisor to former President Gulak Jonathan. Anosike also confessed to the crime on camera where he narrated how he and his gang killed Gulak in Imo State last year. Anosike also asked for forgiveness. In reaction to the news of the arrest of one Ahmed Gulak's killer and the confession made, Loretta Olinachi took to Facebook account this morning to say that we reap whatever we sow. She went further to say that one of the terrorists that killed Dr. Ahmad Gulak is singing like a canary and asking for forgiveness just like a Namde Kano. She said they set Mojo's target for these terrorists and these terrorists also rushed out to make the target and them blame the crime on Fulani Hertzman. Loretta Anoche asked what mercy was shown on Gulak and Dr. Konyili that these terrorists are asking to reap forgiveness in return. In conclusion, Loretta Anoche reiterated that we reap what we sow. Loretta Anoche post goes thus. We reap what we sow. One of the terrorists who killed Dr. Ahmed Gulak in a very confesses plea for forgiveness. He's singing like a canary and asking for forgiveness, just like Namde Kano. They set Mojo's target for them. They rush out to meet the target and then blame the crimes on Fulani Hurt's men. Forgiveness care. What message did they show on Dr. Gulak, Dr. Chike Akonyuli, and so on, that they're asking to reap forgiveness in return? We reap what we sow. God bless Nigeria. Loretta Onochi. First of all, hmm. first of all, first of all, what am I hearing? First of all, now let me start from the real issue before I deviate. First of all, if this is true, if not this person, <laughs> if not this person kill was a killer of this man, first of all. Why? Ah. Something, there's something that Ahmed Gumi said. He said that hunger, mm, hunger can make the repentant Boko Haram to go back to crime. I'm sorry I'm debating. I just have to start from there. I came out mm, and I said it's a lie. I came out and I said it's not possible. That there are thousands of youth who are actually not having anything to do, number one. And they are trying everything possible to leave their environment legally without putting their hands in crime. Now, I'm thinking of retracting that statement. Because with the past few months, with the election that has gone on, gone, that went, that the election that happened in, is it a good state? I can't really say that people sold their vote for as little as 5,000 naira. And people, how do I put it? A lot of things have happened. Eh? Then I am saying it is possible. Hunger. Eh? Hunger can make someone to go into crime. Hunger can make someone. Now... Why did they allow this to get to this point? Now, this is me talking to because all this thing, eh, there is no smoke without fire. The issue I'm going to be addressing would be parents. Parents have a role to play in this. Yes, yeah, before you come from, yes. Parents have a role to play in this. How did you raise up your children? How did you raise up your children? How old do you know them? How old do you, yes, because na Pekin will be said not look well. Now go will become to be a nuisance to you. If not picking where you look well, you not go reach this level. Permit me to go from that um, area first of all. These people now are doing these things. Don't they know that it is a crime to kill? Even if these people are one of the southeasterners, even if, how and why? Why did they allow it to get to this point? Then tell when I say that they killing herself. 
In a common side, they tell them, say, yes, they're killing us. That is what is going on now. People come out and say, oh, the Southeasterners, they kill themselves. Then they cause problems for themselves. Then they do this thing. In a common side, come, they answer the name of the colonel, which is not right. Now, for Loretta to come out and say this thing, Loretta, please, I would want to ask you this question. You coming out making such statements, which English did she use again? She said, what forgiveness did they show to Dr. Gulak? Now, no offense, so I am not in any way support of what they have done. But this forgiveness the federal government show to repentant terrorists. Did you hear what I said? The federal government showed forgiveness to people who have killed they have drink or drank blood like vampires to their feel. They have fed on the flesh of humans by killing them, killing a whole family, raping both mother and daughters in the presence of their family members, cost people terror for life. And then they come outside and tell the government, we are not, we are no longer hungry. We have drank to our field. We have killed to a few. We are now okay. We no one do this work again. Federal government go even tell them, ah, oh, hey, yeah, clap for them, clap for them. Why well, I give them juice and rice? That is what the government does. I'm sorry, I have to take it to this angle too. Now tell me, if the government pardon these ones too, heaven will not fall. I am saying whatever is good for the goose is good for the gander. Had it been said the government know they show mercy to these people, I know go come outside they talk this thing. I know go come outside they talk up. All I'm saying is number one, why I'm condemning this and saying these people no do well. Whether they're southeastern or so, whether they're not southeastern or so, they should this is not this is not good at all. This is not good at all on anyone at all. But what I'm saying in essence is they should give them the same measure of punishment they give the Boko Haram. The repentant, you know, the book around they even started. They even wanted, I'm even hearing the plan and sending them to schools abroad. Okay, I'm just saying my own, I'm saying my own bits. Okay, always seeking attention. Very soon, your government will expire less than seven months. Surely, the government will account for the harms you have done to this country and you will surely rot in jail. <laughs> Good servant, soon. You be promoted as chief security officer to fight the insecurity in Nigeria. Okay, on this note, we have come. To